Hi everyone, this is Molly from Lessons by Molly. I'm here today to tell you about write and wipe centers. If you like to have write and wipe centers in your classroom, there are a few materials you need to have. You need to have plastic transparent sleeves, sometimes they're just called sheet protectors. You need to have dry erase markers and you need to have something to erase with. I'm using shoe polish sponges and makeup sponges for that. You could use your worksheets and insert them into the plastic sleeves to make a right and wipe center. But you need to be mindful that sometimes worksheets are intended for the space that's being written on to be for a pencil size and not the thickness of a dry erase marker. So in that case there may not be enough room for the children to print whatever it is that they need to print on their write and wipe center. I'm going to just demonstrate with this first one how I would do this. The sentence says, Dad is one blank the best pilots. He's one of the best pilots. And maybe I'll go ahead and do number two. Blank spacecraft is very fast. His spacecraft is very fast. And then I'm going to erase number one with the shoe polish sponge and I'll erase number two with my makeup sponge. You might be thinking to yourself, well why even have write and wipe center? Why not just give them the worksheet? Well, you can do that, but there are some advantages to consider with a write and wipe center. One advantage is that you may have children in your classroom that do not like to print or that printing is difficult for them. When they're using pencil and paper, there's more friction involved than using a slick surface like a plastic sleeve and a dry erase marker. And therefore, it's more printer friendly um, in terms of the child being the printer. It also allows them to erase a lot more easier than a um, paper and pencil activity. And um, it also allows you to conserve on printing out 20 some odd copies of your worksheets for students to do. Instead, you can uh, stage it as a center for them to do. A couple of things to keep in mind are you want your students to be able to see whether or not their answers are correctly done and you want them to find that out quite quickly. So what I do is I put an answer key on the opposite side. Are some of them going to peak? Yes, they are, but um, I'm not doing it as an assessment, more of a practice activity. Something else to consider is if you um, want to have your right and white center be portable, you could create a binder um, for your student to take the binder back to his seat to use the right and white center, but you do need to be mindful of the direction that you're inserting your pages so that it's easy to write. I have all of mine going the same direction here. And you want to make sure that the materials are on hand. I used a binder pouch and put dry erase markers in it and flat makeup sponges so that this would close more easily. You want to always be checking and maintaining your center. There's nothing more frustrating for a child than to be using dry erase markers that aren't functioning properly.